Hello, and uh, welcome back to Fallout Shelter. Hello, Snow. What is up with you, dude? But yeah, today is, like, the exact day that, like, I became an affiliate. Woo! Yeah. Oh, hey, money. Sort of. Kind of money. Can only hear happiness in your voice. I am... a very... Uh, very easily excitable, excitable individual. Can't fucking speak. That's how excited I am. One year old. <laughs> Yay! Old lady time! Woo! Um, collect, collect, had not collect you in the slightest. You're supposed to be in here. You, madam, are supposed to be in here. You, sir, are supposed to be in here. You, ma'am, are supposed to be in here. Grace. Get in here. You are supposed to be in here. Oh! Oh! That time again. Oh, one of them died. And then another died. Woo! To be clean wipes? Oh, yeah, we need to clear out our inventory because we have too much shit. That's good. I want to keep that. Um... Okay, so we have all of these things, right? So I feel like we can maybe get rid of this completely. Did I get rid of the, um... No, I didn't. Okay, I feel like maybe with the amount of outfits that we have to choose from, we don't need to have... three of every one of them. Because that just feels excessive. We need this, though. We do need that. Because it's for a stupid fucking mission. We don't need that. 
Okay. No one using, um, only a couple people have the, um, the flamethrowers. So we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. 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 We're just selling pretty much everything that this guy just picked up. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Hello, Wada. Thank you for the strong check. Yeah, I was just telling, um... I was just telling Snow about how, like, today, like, exactly is the day that I got, um... Affiliate. I don't know mine. It should have, uh, it should have showed you, because, like, Twitch does the little, like, thing that shows you when you get that. It'll give you a little birthday hat by your name. Oh, you're of selling your soul to the corporate world. Ayo! Okay, it is officially time to do that strong check. But I didn't know till it happened. I mean, kinda same. Kinda same. I knew it was around this time, but I wasn't sure if it was like exactly this day. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I definitely felt that. Okay, I have to do something about all these people in line. No, I was wrong about that. You need to get out of here, Victoria. Oh, one dude's around here. Yeah, I have no idea where that one guy went. Okay, all you gave me was frickin' bottles, which... I don't super need right now. They're not bad to have, it's just I don't super need them. Get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. Hey! Edward Walkers has an endurance of three. Sick, man. 
sick. Get in here specifically. My death is on your conscience. It's really not. Amanda Adams. You suck, Amanda. In fact, your skills are just a copy of this person, who also suck. So get the fuck out of here, Amanda. Get the fuck out. Okay, so... You are at max strength. And I was going to put you in the reactor. Oh! Oh. Hello, Never! Thank you! What is up with you, dude? Yay! Everything died. That is exactly what I wanted. You have luck of nine. Is there one after this? No, there's not. Prism of eight. Prism of eight. Endurance of ten. Look at you, dude. And then you're gonna have, like... I wanna give you the flamer, I think I do. I think I do. Have that. Um... You guys, what is your intelligence at? Okay, an intelligence of 10? Jesus. Um, where to put you? Where to put you? I'll put you in here. Intelligence of 8, intelligence of 9. Have a nine in perception. You have a six in perception. You have a nine in perception. Okay, that's fine. Hey, the ten and the agility. Why are you guys so fucking miserable? I don't understand. You have a... 8 in agility. Tiffany's got a 10 in strength. Tiffany can go live with her parents again. Oh, you had a few nightmares? Oh, dude, that sucks. I get, like, the night terrors where, like, 
I actively like see the things and it's 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 a fun time for all. That was good Tiffany. Good Tiffany gets to be reunited with her family. Bad Tiffany doesn't get shit. I was gonna look for someone to their strength up because I think you guys are strength of nine, ten, nine, seven, eight. Oh. I didn't want to move you. Seven. Five. Here he might be the one to go. Ten. You have fucking twelve, which is fucking ridiculous. Seven, seven, ten, seven, seven, seven. You got an eleven, you got ten. Well, cool. Okay, so... Are you sure it's gonna be you who's gonna go in the... Was it you? No, it was Terry. Terry, you have a strength of five, what the fuck? Nobody died, right? Nobody died. Okay. You only wanted a, a pole to exercise and make some money on the side. Fuck Tiffany. She don't get to do shit. I'm gonna have you make that. That'll take some time. But that's fine. Get the fuck out of here, Amanda. What are you still doing here? Get out. Goodbye. Oh, it's cute. She's got a little watering can. I'm gonna give you guys something to do because you're crying all day about everything. Um, does everyone here has the gun thing? Okay, so I think I can make another... Yeah. 
Well, that just looks absolutely stupid as shit, you know? Double barrel shotgun, here we go. Aren't they like sad from making a double barrel shotgun? I have no idea. I don't understand why their happiness is so low. I, I don't, I don't understand. Tiffany is the antagonist of the series. Fuck Tiffany. Tiffany really do be. It's funny because, like, I let Tiffany in. I won't kick her out, but fuck Tiffany, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade that. Oh, hey, look at that. We have. I feel like those are supposed to be grapes, but they don't look like fucking grapes. Apples, lemons. Yay! Well, that's awesome. I love that. Okay, so where's the problem now? Oh, you guys are gonna have a really fucking bad time. Stop running. Okay. So you guys are gonna have a time- Tiffany! You useless individual. I try to give Tiffany jobs to do, and she just like, no. Are you guys like happier? No. Suffer. Okay, so we're working on this. We're gonna make one more rare outfit. No one's outside. Everybody's in here. So... What class can we do? Not this. Not this, not this. 
Oh, hey. We'll get another Mr. Handy. Wonderful. Okay, so what can we... So we can take from... Can't take from medical either. When are these guys gonna be done? That's not the facility I wanted. This is. Yeah, so we can take from water, we can take from food, we can take from science area, and then there's a couple others who are doubled up that we could take. So. Sure. Sure, we'll take Barbara. Not from the greenhouse, though. We could take... Charlotte's kind of hurt. Power plant, power plant, science lab. We'll take Edward. And... Not medbay. Not here. Not warehouse. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not Tiffany. Tiffany has to stay where she is. Still least hurt. Where Charlotte less hurt. I'll take Vincent. We're gonna be so overpowered for this. But that's fine. That's gonna be super stupid overpowered. It's gonna be very dumb. I'll see if I can send out another set of people. Awesome. Tiffany! I can't find Tiffany. You useless individual. Oh, hey. It was fine. What gun did I give you, ma'am? Oh, the sniper rifle? Oh, okay. That's fine. 
That's fine. That makes sense. I know we have low storage. Fuck off. Oh, hey, we actually have a double barrel shotgun to give you. I don't know why I just didn't, but I didn't. And then you'll get one. You already have a gun. Dorothy has the double barrel. So, yeah. Everyone here will be good. You guys will get better weapons. Go that guy. Why is there a red light blinking here? I don't understand it, but okay. I'm just going to accept it. Call it good. Okay, so we could take... water food... and either medical place. So, let's get another quest going. Steal some spices? Okay. I'll take Ben. Maybe. Eh, we already took Ben. Whatever. Um. You can take Dorothy. I already took someone from Med Bay. And you from the science lab. Once again, overpowered as shit. But that's how this works, I guess.
This feels more worth it, I'm not gonna lie. This feels like a better use of the bottles. So, we'll do that. We treat the spies. The spies. Did that one just slide over? I feel like it did. Nice. That's not bad. Nice. That is, that is awful. Well, that, I fucked that up. That wasn't terrible. That's, that's all you had to do? That's not very, um... Not, that's like halfway into the building. That's not bad. Got plans for something. Okay, why are you giving me uh, so many radiation packs? I'm concerned. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's cringe internet speak. Oh, hey, we got a bottle. Nice. And two of them. Okay, we got one of those. Ew. But whatever. That's not bad. Why are we getting more health items? Is there supposed to be something super bad here, or...? No? Okay. We might just end up selling that or whatever. That's probably what we're gonna do. Definitely sold us a lot of plans, though. Okay, we're kind of at a... I'd say that we're at a waiting period. Yeah, I'd say that we're at a waiting period here. So... I swear to god, if I've been disconnected, okay. If anyone would like to play chess, there you go.
improve by a bit. I think last time was like three minutes. Nope, those fucks are here again. I don't remember what I was gonna check. Oh yeah, this. We just need two more ghoul attacks, which haven't happened. Which I'm kinda surprised about. Like, I just feel like there should have been a ghoul attack by now, but there wasn't. Only gave me the coins. Sad. You also only gave me caps again. I feel cheated. Ninety-seven. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. You guys finally stop. Oh wait, you guys are finally happy, and I don't understand why you went from being sad to being happy all of a sudden. I don't know what the fuck is up with you guys. Temperamental sons of bitches.
The ones who are exploring and returning are just not happy. You guys are getting better. And then we have that line outside. You have comfy stream. I have comfy streams? I'm always screaming at everyone and telling them to fuck off. How, how are they comfy? Explain that number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a, uh, a written, uh, two page essay about why my streams are comfy so that I can fucking understand. But I'm interested to know, like, why you would consider this to be a comfy stream. Cause I, would not have put that tag on myself. You don't always scream. As background sound while I do my stuff. Okay. I don't know. I Maybe it's because I'm internally screaming all the time is why I feel like I'm screaming all the time. But, um... But yeah, no, I, I can, I can potentially see that. Um, I don't know if necessary, if it's necessarily just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit, but maybe I just feel like it's this game. It's just game. I don't know, maybe it's the, uh, just the... The lack of excitement. Oh, hey, I have coffee. Oh, my God, it's coffee time. I'm happy regardless that it works for you, never. Also, you like me? Ew. What the fuck, never? Baka. Affection disgusting? Exactly, never. Now you're getting on my level. Exactly. I feel like I never really like... I don't know what that stuff grew past. Can I, uh, hello. <laughs> hello, Red. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there was the excitement. Um, so when I was talking about the lack of excitement, never just brought some. Never just brought a whole fuck ton of it. Or not never read. Who the fuck am I talking to? I don't know. I don't know, man. Someone brought excitement. Probably, honestly. Probably. Um... I don't know if I'm crazy enough to, to, like, need medication yet, but, like, I feel like that's a get. Because, like, as you get older, your, like, mental health deteriorates, especially if you already have bad mental health. It just gets worse. So, like, maybe someday I'll be medicated, but today is not that day. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna build another thing because it can. That oh, makes 57. I don't think it's upgraded though, all the way. Give me 66. Mm. 
just claim insanity to get some, to get some of those grippy socks. I actually don't like grippy socks. I don't. They make me feel like I actually trip on grippy socks a lot because so like when I walk, I have like a natural slide kind of, if that makes sense. Like I kind of like slide my feet um a little bit. So like it makes me fall. Like grippy socks make me feel like I'm falling all the time. I do the same on tile and hearthstone. Dude, so I had like, um, shoes. I don't know what the soles were made out of, right? But like the rubber part of it was like, not grippy, like at all. It was like, so not grippy to the point where what I would do in high school, this also might be a testament to how gross and dirty the floors were in high school, but I would literally run and like skate a couple feet I would just skate to my classes. It was so fun. I think the furthest we could ever, like, skate sometimes was, like, 8 to 10 feet. It was it was a good time. Oh, you guys are gonna get fucked. Not like super fucked, but you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, where is it now? Oh, hey! We can help our friends. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They actually don't. Uh oh, you guys are also gonna have a really bad time. The radio rooms, they almost get no experience, so it kind of ends up being a bad time. Hello, Genie. I think that's how you say that. But, uh, thank you for the congratulations. I don't speak Spanish, but I can definitely make out that that is a congratulations in the Spanish. He's Portuguese. <laughs> okay, okay.
okay. I'm not gonna lie. Um, like, so the reason why I was kind of like, okay, like, I, I, I understand what this says is because, like, um, Feliz Navidad is a really popular Christmas song, um, in the U.S. Um, and so, cause that says Feliz, right? I'm not, I'm not stupid. Like, I can read some Spanish. Like, so I just assumed that that was Spanish. <laughs> I just assumed. I know that, like, Portuguese and Spanish share some words, but I had just taken a... I just taken a stab. I took one class of Spanish in high school, like Spanish one, and I learned how to say some words. And, um, that was it. <laughs> I'm surprised that, like, some of it has stuck with me, though. Like, there's just, like, some random ass words that have, like, stuck with me for some reason. And I don't know why. But they have. Not that I can make a whole ass sentence, but, like, I can scream some words. Yeah, I had a friend who, like, spoke three languages? Um, spoke, I say, kind of in quotation marks, because one of them was American Sign Language, and so it's like, I don't, you don't speak American Sign Language, but, like, but, like, when people ask you, like, what languages do you speak? You answer with American Sign Language, even though you don't speak that. But speaking multiple languages is really good. It, like, if I remember right, it does create different pathways in your brain because, like, different languages think differently. And so you have to, like, create new, like, neuron pathways in your brain to speak other languages. Actually, I just, I just kind of had a thought about this. Like... Because I, I, I don't know why, but I just had this thought of, like, I feel like it's easier. Because, like, I've had, um... Because I feel like I learned the best when I think about, like, all the Spanish that I had to take throughout the years. I feel like I learned the best from from my high school teacher whose, like, first language was English. Um, and for some reason, like, Spanish was very difficult to me when it was taught by a, um... They had a teacher who was, like, 
native Spanish and also like native Japanese at the same time. Um, so she spoke she spoke like four or five different languages. It was it was really cool, but I feel like it was more helpful when a white girl was teaching a white girl how to how, how to do Spanish, you know. And I think it's because of that, you know, that whole, like, neural synapsis type thing, like, because you, you know, your first language was English and you spoke English for a long time. Your, like, kind of base understanding of communication is more similar than it is different. I don't know if that makes sense at all. But I was just thinking that... If I understand, like, this is all based on, like, so if I understand Riot, like, Kason was raised in the US, and, like, I understand that she, like, you know, spoke Japanese and English at the same time, but I feel like she would be a really good resource. Like, I feel like it would be... She'd be really good at writing a how, like, how to learn Japanese. Just because it's like you get that, like, American English perspective at the same time. Also, you could just fill it with dumb weeb shit and it would sell, like, fucking hotcakes. You could be like, are you a weeb loser who wants to, like, learn Japanese so you can watch without subtitles? Well, here you go, motherfuckers. I think she has done, like, some, like, learning Japanese streams, too. But, like, having, like, an official, like, published work or whatever. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I would petition Case on to, uh... to write slash whatever. However you make, like, learning language bullshit, you know? I just realized that when I talk, I put so many fucking disclaimers in front of everything when I'm just like, so I think I'm like less than like a 99.9% .9 sure about what I'm talking about. So let me just put a f bunch of fucking disclaimers in front of everything. Don't accidentally cancel yourself, guys. Yeah, yeah. I am afraid of that always. Yeah. I I feel like it's it's a thing where like I feel like there are ways you can mitigate that, and I think the number one is don't get involved with conflicts of others that don't involve you. Like if they don't involve you, don't get involved in 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 conflict. Because I've seen on Twitter a lot of VTubers get in trouble for getting involved with shit that they weren't involved with in the first place. Or talking about shit that they don't know about and like 
but not having that disclaimer in the first place, right? Um, like, I remember on Twitter there was this whole, like, thing for a while about, like, um, how... Trying to word this correctly, like, how... How people, so, like, just people in general, who have models that are... Do I plan on doing anything big for my affiliate anniversary? So, 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 so. I had this whole plan thing, right? So where I had, because like my, my birthday and my affiliate thing are like months and like nine days apart, um, I was kind of like, I don't want to do too... Because, like, I, I also feel... Right? That, like, for big events... One, they're, they're, they're tiring on the individual. Like, if you're just one person and you don't have, like... A manager that helps you or, like, somebody else who helps you, like, create and manage your content... That is exhausting. Holy shit. Um, so... So, like, I don't really have anything, like, big planned as far as, like, streams go. Um, but I did want to kind of put out, like, uh, I had this idea of, like, putting out, like, uh, I don't want to say a big survey as if it's, like, a chore or something. But I do want it to be, you know, a pretty comprehensive thing of, like, hey, I've been affiliate for a year. People who, like, watch my stream or, like, my YouTube videos or fucking whatever the hell you do. Like, if you interact with my... With what I'm doing in some way, shape, or form, would you pretty please, with sprinkles on top, like, fill out this survey and make suggestions and all this other bullshit? Because it's this thing where, like... Streaming and playing games... Great, but, like... I want to know if people want to, like, see other content. <laughs> Donnie's idea of giving back is a fucking survey on point, I guess. I mean, it's a thing where, like, you know, I've been doing this for a year. Um, I don't have any complaints, necessarily, about what I've been doing. But I want to know if other people have complaints about what I've been doing. Or if they, like, want to see other things, like... Do people want to see me play different kinds of games? And I'm kind of limited in that aspect. But then I can, like, kind of reassess my priorities of, like, um, you know, the things that I do have to fuel money towards on this. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing this for a year to celebrate paperwork time. I know. Com complaint. Not enough tits. Wow. I guess I'll have to commission somebody to, to make some birds, I guess. Never wants some fucking birds, so he'll get some fucking birds, I guess. What kind of tits? Um, maybe chickadees. I mean, chickadees are, like, pretty native to Minnesota, so I feel like it would fit. Um... But I would also have to see what other... Because, like, I know that chickadees are tits. Okay. I have received... <laughs> I'm so glad I... <laughs> there are tits in Europe, in, in, in Europe, too. Um... Hair. Oh, that's a really pretty tit. It's a blue one. 
<laughs> that reminds me of a, one of my professors shared a story where like he was teaching an ornithology class, which is the study of birds. Right. And so like being into science mode, like when science people are into science mode, it's really hard to like make them socially aware. It's really funny. Um, So what he did is he was, you know, talking about, you know, the different, you know, classifications of birds and stuff. And so he got to like tits, which is a classification of small ground feeding birds. It's, it's a type. And so what he does, what he does is he just types into Google blue tits, completely unaware of like context in the world. And this was after Avatar had been made a movie. So he just got a bunch of like James Cameron's avatar porn in his Google search results in front of his entire class. And he just went, that was massive oversight. I do apologize. Please don't report me. Goodbye. <laughs> and no one said a damn thing either. Like no one went, hey, um, hey, professor, what you're about to do is incredibly stupid and you're going to make a fool of yourself. Safe search exists. Um, I see. I think that great tits are actually a thing. I think that that's actually a thing. Um, tit bird. <laughs> um. See, yeah, they're fucking everywhere. They're like on every continent except Antarctica, obviously, South America, and Australia. I don't see any populations in Australia. Tits are all over Japan, by the way. Like, Japan does not have a single area where there's not tits. So, Japan's got a lot of tits. I I don't know. This was also like back in like 2009, 2010. Um so things might have been different. You want to learn more shirts <laughs> Asian tits on YouTube? Um, um, don't listen to Red. Um, didn't kill a single one of them, which I think is kind of funny. And one of them died. Okay. Um, can you guys get in here or, or are you gonna be useless like Tiffany? You could be useless like Tiffany. We at least know that never is not into. Let it be known that Red does not discriminate about tits. Uh, he loves tits of all colors. But I wish to know... There is apparently an elegant tit. So that makes me laugh a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, those guys are cute. Tits are definitely really cute. Some of them have little mohawks on their heads and they're so cute. The Eurasian blue tit. A tit is a tit no matter the color. <laughs> they just have one that's called the Japanese tit. Oh my god. <laughs> Birds are great. That's all I have to say. I love that there is just a whole, like, group of birds that's just collectively and commonly known as the tit. It makes me very happy. Because it's just very funny. I made a similar statement, as long as they don't get- they aren't grotesquely big. Well, you don't have to worry. Um, these guys can all fit in, like, the palm of your hand. I haven't seen any of them get bigger than that. They're all rather small, so. Hello, pile driver. What is up with you, dude? Thank you for the congratulations. Every time I see that, I think it's not my birthday. And then I have to read it. <laughs> I read like half of sentences sometimes, and then I just go, yeah, I read that. And it's like, no, you fucking didn't. Happy birthday! Oh no! Oh no! I'm even more of an old lady now. Oh no! Ate too much citrus? What the fuck? You know, I would also like to hold tits in the palm of my hand. That would be very nice, because I always see them in, like, the parking lots and stuff, and I'm just like, I just want to pick that up. I just want to pick... They're so tiny. I love them so much. That makes you 57 now? Um... I wish, then I could, um, then I could get senior discount meals. That would make me very happy. Oh, you're terrible. Andrew, go die. Go die, Andrew. I like what Andrew's wearing, though. I swear to god, there was someone who was strength and luck. No, Andrew gets to stay. In the line. For a while. Okay, did I miss here? I did say that I want to pick up tits in the parking lot. I did. Some time ago, we had a tit that was stuck on ground in our garden. Oh, why, why, why was, why, why was it stuck? Oh, fuck raiders. 
Yes. Yes. We've been having a conversation about tits for the last five minutes at least. And it makes me very happy. It fills me with like some giddy joy. What's one of those? It was a sparrow? Oh, Oh, it was a little baby. Okay. That are injured, or my cat ate it afterwards. I mean, probably your cat probably did eat it at some point. I have not. Okay, so like, we had a um, because the tits save her imagination. I don't know, like, some tits are comparable in size. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We shouldn't. We shouldn't discount tits just because they're small. Hashtag all tits matter. I don't know. Stop this. Stop confusing my poor brain. I will not because I'm. I'm having fun. But there was, um, a couple years ago- I live in shit town now where I don't get the tits that I want- Dude! Tits are everywhere in, like, shit town nowhere. Like, my mother has some bushes in front of her house, so they have a fuck ton of tits in them. You can see them in the winter a lot, so, like, if you- <laughs> So if you have, like, any shrubbery or anything, um, because they can fit in all of, like, the little holes and everything, they make their nest there in the winter. And they're so great. <laughs> Do it. Um. But, like, yeah. Um. They'll, they'll nest in there and everything. They're great. Honestly, like, tits remind me of Christmas. Oh shit, we got another hoe. Your mom's bushes are big enough to house tits? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was very lovely, Red. Oh, are we still talking about birds? I'm always talking about birds. You guys can talk about whatever the hell you want. Except for, except for the one time. Um... Or I said all tits matter. I was talking about birds and other tits. I was talking about birds and memories. All tits matter. This is the most positive thing. Because I'm not talking about my mother. I'm talking about the bushes in front of her house that house the tits. Do you know how mad I get? It? I would get at her every single time that she would, like, trim those things? Because I'm like, you are disturbing the tits, madam. What the fuck? Please don't commit ecological crimes. Wada's tits matter? I'll have to ask Wada if he has uh, if he has any bushes that have tits in them. Someone fucking remind me next time that like Wada's on stream because I have to ask this on stream because it'll be fucking hilarious. If if Wada has any tits in his bushes. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna comment about Wada's bushes. I don't know anything about Wada's bushes. <laughs> don't 
Lonnie is a proud defender of my tits and it's appreciated. Look, man. Hashtag all tits matter. Okay, so we gotta get rid of somebody. Pile driver, if you want us to stop laughing at your tits, stop making such good bits about them. There you go. This is on you. Oh wait, Wada was here. I just remembered Wada showed up at the beginning and then and then and then he left. Coward. Um but yeah. Please for dear God, somebody remind me. To ask Wada about the tits that may or may not be in his bushes. It's gonna be fucking hilarious. Oh my god. You know, I'm I'm glad that I'm alive, just so that I can ask him that. Do we let Dennis in or do we not? We let Dennis in. We let Dennis in. I've shown mercy to Dennis. Oh, hey! What kind of sick ass name is that? Axe Ellie? Axe Ellie. What kind of sick ass name is that? Holy f Fuck, ma'am. Get your ass in here. It, it also helps that, like... That, like... Is it is it supposed to be Axel and not Axe, Ellie? Axel, just the ease. I'm gonna... So, so, if you wanted it to be spelled Axel, you would have spelled it that way. It's Axe, Ellie. It's Axe, Ellie. That's a sick-ass name, by the way. Axe, Ellie? Hell Yeah. Oh, hey, Death Claws. <laughs> you don't have a gun, Dennis. Um... Dennis will get a sawed off because, uh... Oh, why is he gonna die? Oh, we can't. Okay, we can fix you now. We've been getting so many death claws. Like, why? Okay, um, you should go in here. And then you should also go in here. Oh shit, everybody gonna fucking die. Oh shit. I'm so sorry that you died, Mayor. <laughs> Man, I didn't mean for that to happen to you. That wasn't supposed to happen. Listen, if you start putting E's, I'm gonna pronounce them like E's. Goodbye. Go that guy.
You're gonna get that. And I think I'm gonna put you in like the... I think I'm gonna put you in like the... Super Raider outfit. Yeah, there you go. That looks sick. There you go. Someone wandering? Who's wandering? Sir, are you wandering because you died? You are. Kevin, stop it. Stop it, Kevin. Mm, yeah. So everything here is good. We'll do this. We'll do this, and then I will have to call it for today. Um, just cause. Your next playthrough, you gotta work on organizing that layout. Um, I don't think there will be a next playthrough. The amount of hours that I have put into this is kind of insane. I think on YouTube, this is gonna be like part 48 or 49. It's kind of been insane. But, Jesus Christ, um, Red, is that from something? But, I don't know how to pronounce it. Rika? Rika. Rika. I'm gonna p pretend that I know how to say that and that and that, that says Rika, but hello Rika, what are you up to, dude? I seen you pop up and hit recommend it and didn't know what part you're on. Um Ray Ray Kia. Ray Kia. So like Ikea, but with an R. Ray Kia. I feel like it's it's kind of with like with Fallout. Especially Shelter, it's not that big of a deal to show up literally at any point in this. Thank you, Rikia, for the follow. That was super cool. Um, but yeah, I feel like with Fallout Shelter, it kind of doesn't matter when you show up. Because it's a lot of repetition. It's so much repetition! This is a weird layout. Why do you have two elevators next to each other? What's up with that? That's just a layout I can't get behind. Cod Modern Warfare 3 beta again? I'm just 
gonna say, I have a, uh, can't be dissing that how we look at yours. Look, man, at least I haven't put two elevators next to each other. That would, that's a little fucky. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, Pile Driver, though. I, I don't, I just, I can't, I can't respect Call of Duty in any way, shape, or form. I just don't respect Call of Duty. No, that's fair. I don't, but it's multiplayer. Like, I have seen people play, like, the, the Nazi zombie thing. And, like, that looks fun. Like, that, like, that specific thing looks fun. And everything else looks like trash. Black Ops 3 Zombies is great. The older CODs are the one that I play it from B04 and older. B04. Oh, Black Ops 4. Okay. Okay. My brain had to think about that for a second. <gasps> Oh, you are super green. <laughs> like, good god. Is that they are still $60? Well... Aren't they $60 because, um... Are they, like, $60 because people keep, like, because they haven't gone out of style at all? Out of style, I say. But, like, because people still, like, have their favorite format of COD, and so they just keep playing that. Is that, like, a special promo they're doing where all of the CODs are free? Oh, hey, a guy. Oh. Oh, that actually... Was that was that the merger that you were talking about, Pile Driver? Like, did that actually go through? I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. We got a Mr. Handy. They had a lot of stipulations. I'd believe it. Why would you put an elevator here that doesn't... It doesn't go anywhere. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. I don't make these decisions. I feel like that's a lot of people. I don't know how many people play... COD for the story mode. As much as they do for the, um, the multiplayer stuff. Return to the vault. Only for the achievements. That's fair. That's fair. Wait, why is this purple now? <gasps> is it because it's Halloween time? Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. I love that. That's so cute. Oh, and they got little music. That's adorbs. 
that's very adorbs. Can this be like permanent? Cause if that could be permanent, that would be that that would be cool. I'd be down with that. But as I said, that was kind of all that I've used up all of like the time that I can for that. So I am sorry. Rikia, that, uh, that you kind of came in at the tail end of it. <laughs> um, but that is how that worked out. <laughs> so, question for you guys. Would you like to see Pathfinder War of Righteousness or Undertale. These are the options that we have. Undertale. Pathfinder. Oh fuck. Someone someone's gotta someone's gotta break this tie. Someone's gotta break this tie. I think the Undertale one is the one I was going to request. That's funny. That's funny, Red. Both? <laughs> Play both? <laughs> I cannot raid two people at once. Yes, I do think that we're thinking about the same person, Red. I do think so. You know, if I have to be the tiebreaker, we're going to go with Undertale just because I can feel like I've, uh, I can feel like I've taken a request from Red without actually taking a request from Red. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Pathfinder, I can't look at because Pat ruined it. Why am I not surprised? Why does this just not surprise me? Oh. Well, that's not how you spelled it at all. That's not how you do that. So we basically had a no for Pathfinder. So, I mean... It's good that um, he, he made his character for so many hours, dude. So from what I understand, when I eventually get to Baldur's Gate 3, the first stream, I'm just going to put it in the title. We are making the character for like two hours. If you don't like that, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Yay, my first raid request without it being an actual raid request. Um, but thank you guys so much for, uh, joining the stream. <laughs> thank you, um, Reikia for the, uh, for, for sticking around and other bullshit. Hope to see you next time, guys. <gasps> Why? Fuck, I forgot about the raid message. Oopsies.